got your message. I got Lydia. We rushed over here as fast as we could. Yeah, um, how'd you guys get into the school? We came in through the boiler room door. Yeah, the janitor with the special shoe always leaves it open in case he gets into a fight with Mrs. Special Shoe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You cannot live in the school, man. You gotta go back to Mr. Hightower's. He's worried sick about you. Yeah, Mr. Hightower cares what happens to me. Of course he does. He's just an old guy living by himself. Even I know he doesn't exactly know how to raise kids. Cut him a break. Word on the street is that Mr. Hightower's called everyone you know within a 30-mile radius. Now, I know you don't know what the word radius means, but trust me, that's a lot of people. <laughs> Mr. Hightower! We were just getting an early start on tomorrow. Our room is only nine hours away. How'd you know we were here, Mr. Hightower? Because you called my house to tell Romeo you were bringing him some supplies. Hmm. Slight miscalculation. So you won this battle, Hightower, but rest assured we will meet again. <laughs> Sorry, I just always wanted to say that. Okay, I'll tell you what. You all get your behinds out of here right now and I'll act like I never even saw you. Sounds like a deal to me. Come on, guys. Hold on, Romeo, not, not you. Look, man, come here for a minute. We need to talk, man. See, the problem here, Romeo, is that we just don't know how to communicate with each other. You know, it's just that I've been trying to... You know, I, I, I think I've been kind of... Well, I, I think I might have been a little... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Altar, I, I just want... To... I'm sorry if I... It ain't easy. It... And whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Come on, man, let's go home. Thanks, Mr. Artow. You know, you're real easy to talk to. Yeah, 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 it's a gift. <laughs>